I'm Marissa with The Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today on my Friday Sews video. Um, Friday Sews, for anyone who doesn't know, was brought to us by Today in Jen's Sewing Room. It's a lovely hashtag, and for me at least, it helps me sort of uh, think about things week to week, and um, I really enjoy participating. So for anyone who doesn't know, um, last week I put out a autumn plans video and actually I think it came out Saturday or Sunday, I can't recall. And I had spent quite a bit of time matching patterns to, um, fabrics and had a quite a lengthy list. Um, and then the previous week I actually had a list that I have for my son and my husband. So I've got a lot of plans, but it was really fun to put that together and really help me focus on the things that I needed to make and want to make. And this week it, um, I, I've been able to sew loads of things and I don't really have to sort of think about what I'm going to make. I sort of have it already planned. And so that does take some of the time out of the process. And um, at the same time, at the end of it, I'll have a whole bunch of things that look nice together. So I was able to sew, what is it? One, two, three, four, five things this week. And I'm really pleased. And um, a couple of them were new patterns to me. So it was a really enjoyable um, week. So the first thing I'll do is start off showing you what I made for my son. Um, because he is just growing like mad. He um, seems to grow like an inch a month and um, so I have to keep up. So I needed to make him and I actually have three more cut out um, some new pajamas, especially new pajamas for the autumn time. Now one thing I want to say, apologies for stopping. Firstly, I am wearing the plantain tee by Deer and Doe because I always forget to say what I'm wearing. I am going to show you these items on. I probably will talk about them here and then insert videos um, or pictures of me wearing them. The other thing I want to say is that I hope the video gets uploaded today, which is Friday. However, we had a horrific storm last night and I believe our house was stuck, struck by lightning. And in fact, it was the, um, the metal pole that has the um, dish that is our internet. Um, I believe that exploded. Um, it was pretty scary. It was like a huge explosion. And then like my husband and I saw flashing lights. Anyway, we're fine, but we have no internet. They're going to come out today, hopefully. But um, as some of you know, we're flying to Vienna later this evening. And so I may not be able to upload it, but um, I will be bringing my computer. So maybe if the hotel has good internet, I'll be able to do that. So hopefully you will be seeing this. Anyways, back to the sewing. So as I said, I made a pajama pattern. This is a fantastic pattern. They made by me produce some beautiful patterns, really simple, really easy, very affordable. I think they're four or five dollars, euros, whatever. They're all the same now. And they, this one goes from a size two to a size 10. Now, my like my I said, my son is quite large. He's in the size eight to nine and um, probably will quickly be in the highest size. So unfortunately, I won't be able to use it anymore. But I made for him a pair of pajamas in this lovely race car fabric, which I purchased um, when we were in Austria this summer on vacation. It's a super cute um, fabric, really nice organic cotton, soft. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed making. I used um, like a black cuffing um, to finish it off. These are the pants, they have um, cuffs at the bottoms and it just makes it easy. You can basically sew the entire thing on your overlocker, except if you want to um, stitch around the neck, which I just did with my twin needle. So that was super easy, super quick, especially since it was already cut out. And um, we shall be bringing those with us on our trip this weekend and uh, he'll have something new to wear to sleep in. So that will be nice. Now on to the makes for myself. Now, um, on the last, well, on my last video, I did say that I wanted to make something for my holiday. Um, we're going to a concert Saturday night in Vienna and I wanted to have something new to wear. So I made this version here. Now you will see that it says it's a one hour jumper. That is a complete and utter lie. I would consider myself an average sewist in terms of speed and this probably took me four hours or three maybe, but certainly not one. Um, I made this in this gorgeous wool um, fabric, which I purchased at my local fabric store here. 
and it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's like a gray and it has this purple running through it. And it was just a joy to work with. Um, it's a lovely length, has a nice sort of vent in the back. Let's see if I can show that a bit better, which I enjoyed making. Yeah, it was just super lovely to work with. Um, has a has a facing that covers the arms and um, the uh, front and back. And um, yeah, I've got a nice um, black turtleneck, which, um, what is it? Tilly and the Buttons Freya that I made last year. And I've got some black tights, which I will wear and enjoy wearing that on Saturday night. So I will, um, yeah, so hopefully you're looking at some pictures of me actually wearing it. But it was a lovely sew, very, very simple. You can see here by the line drawings, where are you? oh my hand, right here. It's just straight up and down. Um, I did make um, the size 18 because, um, it is a straight up and down. So essentially whatever you do on the top, you do on the bottom. Um, so I am quite happy with it. And um, yeah, it was a really enjoyable sew. And I've wanted to make that for a while. I actually purchased this fabric well over a year ago, possibly two, to make that. So that's the first item, put it over here. The second item is the Rockford Raglan, which um, I had made before in the short sleeve version, but I wanted to make this which I thought sort of was a little like a sweatshirt. This is a, oh, oh also with that, um, this McCall's pattern. Um, it does come in various sizes, but this particular one is only 16, 18, and 20, and this is very old. So you'd have to buy it on Etsy or something. Apologies. So Rockford Raglan. This comes into extra small to a 5X Love Notions pattern. Um, yeah, really enjoyed sewing it. I made it out of the super fun leopard print, which is this sort of blue and yellow. Now, interestingly, if it's nice, I believe I made a size, um, what did I make, 16? Don't know. Um, no, I made a 2X. Yes, yes, this is the problem. Okay, I don't remember. So I made a size 2X because um, I am larger in this area than like the proportion is not quite there according to sizes. So like, for example, if I make something that's nice up here, it's typically sort of too large in the waist. So, and for these, um, size, for the sizing, the full bust at the extra large was a 42 and the 2X was 45 and a half and I'm about a 44 and a half. And then the waist is extra large 38, 2X 39 and a half. Well, my waist is 35. So I was would have been sort of just above the large. So I decided to make a straight 2X and try it on before I put the bottom band on. And it was too large. So I did take some off the sides and probably could still take more off the sides. But it's, um, it's a lovely sweatshirt. I did stick with this, um, the same fabric for the cuff which is oddly quite large, um, and the other cuff. And then I did try to put it on the waistband, but then it, it just didn't have enough stretch. So I took it off and put in, put on some cuffing. Um, so yeah, I mean, in general, I'm pleased with it. I did think for a moment that I had cut out the size that was hemmed because it's extremely long. Um, so yeah, it's nice, but I think for this kind of garment, the Tilly and the Buttons um, Billy, like just the standard sweatshirt is a better fit. But yeah, I really like this and um, it will look nice with some black pants because of the black um, here, but I really liked the combination of the black and the blue. So yeah, I'm really, I am pleased with it um, and uh, will enjoy wearing that. So then the last item I made two of. Um, I love them both, but the first one, I thought the fit could be improved. So I will share that with you right now. Now, these are the Anna Allen Pomona pants. And you can see that there, right there is line dry. And I made the wide leg pant. Now this comes in 
uh, size 0, 0 to 22, which is a waist of 24 going to a waist of 41, hip 34 going to a hip 51. Now, I love these pants. I made the first pair in a black washed cotton, which you can see here. I put two pockets on the back, even though it says put one because I thought they looked quite nice. And I just adore these pants. I love the wide waistband. It's a two inch waistband and it is so comfortable. And I just love the length. I love the thick um, hem at the bottom, which is again, a two inch hem. But I felt that there was way, there was too, I, first of all, I will enjoy wearing these, absolutely. But I did feel that there was a little too much fabric in the crotch, in the rise. And now the difficulty with this pattern in terms of fixing that, and, the, and they very kindly give you all of the uh, measurements for the front and the back rise. But the trouble with this pattern is it's all one, right? So what that means is you don't have a side seam, okay? So basically the pattern wraps around. So it's like, you know, in one pattern piece, you've got the front and the back. So it, I only needed to remove length or remove some fabric from the front rise. So I wasn't sure how to do it. I thought possibly um the only thing i could think was find the middle cut and shorten it like a dart and i talked to claire from stitch hem so and she also thought that that was best approach and so i felt i should give that a go so i did and made a second pair which i will show you right here now i am going to show you obviously me wearing these these I made in a quite a thin, which probably isn't great for the winter, but um, like a denim-y cotton, um, quite thin. And anyway, and I also noticed that there were like issues with fading. So, but I figured because I wasn't sure if the approach would work, I went ahead anyway. And you can see some right there. I figure like if I'm wearing them, nobody's going to notice, but maybe they will. Don't care. Anyway, um, I think that the cutting, um, taking some out of the front actually worked. So I'll show you my pattern piece, just in case I'm not describing this very well. So this is a ginormous piece. A little disturbing that my leg is that large. However, you can see right there that what I did is I found the middle by essentially you know putting it together as if I was sewing I put the the, um, the seams together and then took that piece out now it seems to have worked um, I'm quite pleased with them but I will have to wear them around to give the final verdict I am going to take them away this weekend so I will be able to share my thoughts but in general, I adore the pattern. I really like the style. I like the fit. I made a size 16. Uh, fits me really well. Like I said, the waistband is so comfortable. Two inch waistband. Lovely. Sorry. Why was I rustling like that? I clearly don't. I haven't practiced enough with the uh, recording. Anyway. I am very pleased with them and um, I'm definitely going to make some more. I would like to um, try with a heavier fabric for, because actually even this is quite thin and the wash cotton is like a thinner. And when you look in the pattern booklet, it recommends, I believe, medium weight. Um, uh, it says eight to 10 ounce cotton canvas, twill fabric with no stretch. Other woven fabrics can be used, including medium to heavyweight linen, silk, wool suiting, extra fabric needed to make, match plaid, plaids and stripes. So yeah, I think probably, um, especially for the winter, I would like to try a thicker, heavier weight fabric. And I do have a few in my stash, so I shall try that. What do I plan for next week? Um, I haven't even thought that far in advance. I think I'm definitely gonna have a go at one of the card cardigans. Um, just again, to sort of try to create um, sort of outfits as soon as possible. And I feel like I've got a couple pairs of pants now. I do have some shirts in my stash. And then if I could get um, a, cup, a car cardigan or two made up, I think that would really complement the items I've already made. Um, I'm definitely going to get some more pajamas sewn up for my son. 
And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this process, having selected what I'm making. It's all sort of piled over on this little couch I have. So when I'm ready for a new project, I just essentially walk over there, pick something and get to work. So it's quite nice and does take the sort of, hmm, what should I wear, what should I make, um, out of the whole process. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you all have a lovely weekend. And um, yeah, happy sewing. Thanks. Bye.